All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Hope Valley is a never-ending revolving door of residence, and this time, Lucas could be the next townie to make his exit. Which begs the question, is Chris McNally leaving when calls the heart as Lucas? The writing is on the wall. When Calls the Heart is Hallmark's drama series, following the residents of Hope Valley, a small town in Western Canada, where life is simple, but still fraught with challenges. The series, which was based on Jeanette Oak's book of the same name and started as a Hallmark original movie in October 2013, centers around Elizabeth Thatcher, a young teacher accustomed to high society life, who moves to Hope Valley after she receives her first classroom assignment there. Nellie plays Lucas Bouchard, a businessman who owns the Queen of Hearts Saloon and Gowan Petroleum in Hope Valley. He was introduced in Season 6. Lucas and Elizabeth start dating in Season 8 and get engaged in Season 9 after Elizabeth's breakup with Nathan Grant, a Mountie whom Elizabeth has a romantic storyline with following the death of her late husband, Jack Thornton, in season five. Everything seemed good for Elizabeth and Lucas until the end when calls the heart season 10, which set up a love triangle between Elizabeth, Lucas, and Nathan, and Lucas' possible exit from Hope Valley. So is Chris McNally leaving when calls the heart and what happens to Lucas? Read on for what we know about if Chris McNally is leaving when calls the heart after season 10. Is Chris McNally leaving when calls the heart? The answer is no. However, there are clues that McNally, who has played Lucas Bouchard since season six, may have a reduced role. In season 10, episode 11, long time running, Lucas confirms to his fiance, Elizabeth Thornton Thatcher, his plan to run for governor after the current governor, Bixby Balfour's opponent, drops out of the race at the last minute and leaves the crooked politician unopposed. The decision to run for governor also comes after Lucas gave a speech in season 10, episode 10, all dressed up, about how Hope Valley deserves a governor better than Balfour. In episode 11, Lucas gives his first radio interview in which he announces that he plans to move from Hope Valley to Capital City with Elizabeth and her son, Jack Thornton Jr., if he's elected. Lucas' announcement comes as a surprise to Elizabeth, who has never agreed to move to Capital City and didn't fully realize what Lucas' win would mean for her life in Hope Valley. Elizabeth and Lucas talk about his announcement and Elizabeth agrees to support Lucas on his campaign and cross the bridge of moving from Hope Valley to Capital City when it comes. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's ex Nathan Grant learns of the possibility of Elizabeth fleeing Hope Valley and confronts her about it, seemingly confirming his lingering feelings for her. What I want is for him to win, Elizabeth tells Nathan when he asks her what she wants. Well, I hope it makes you happy, Nathan responds, in the win calls the heart season 10 final. Starry Nights, Lucas wins the election for governor and officially breaks up with Elizabeth. The episode ends on a cliffhanger when Bill tells Elizabeth and Nathan that Lucas is in trouble. It's Lucas, Bill says. I need you both, now. So, is Chris McNally leaving when calls the heart? The answer is no. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight after the win calls the Heart Season 10 finale, showrunner Lindsay Sturman confirmed that Lucas will return for when calls the Heart Season 11. We can assure everyone that Lucas is back for Season 11. He's a huge part of Hope Valley and always will be. But there's definitely a cliffhanger and a few mysteries packed in there, and it will all be revealed next season, Sturman said. While Sturman confirmed that Lucas is in when calls the heart season 11, she didn't reveal if he'll move to Capital City now that he's elected governor or stay in Hope Valley, which could affect how much he's in the upcoming season. All we can say is Lucas is a huge part of season 11, she said. Erin Krakow, who has played Elizabeth since season 1, 
also confirmed that Lucas returns and win calls the heart season 11. We're not going to lose Chris McNally, she told Entertainment Tonight after the season 10 final. I mean, he's fantastic. I can't imagine that. Our show just grew and changed when we brought in Kevin and Chris. When asked about season 10's cliffhanger involving Lucas, Krako told Entertainment Tonight, I can say that the good news is that those questions will be answered. And pretty much right away, so we're not gonna have to wait too long in season 11 to get those answers. Elizabeth Thornton is having her felicity moment. In an exclusive interview with people, Erin Krako, who has portrayed the Hope Valley school teacher for 11 seasons and counting on Hallmark Channel's small town drama, When Calls the Heart, explains why she and the writers thought that the April 7 season premiere would be the perfect time for the character to change her hairstyle. We we're trying to figure out a story that would illustrate Elizabeth's desire to create some real change in her life, says Krako, who also executive produces the show. She's open to infinite possibilities. And so we went back and forth with a few ideas, but the haircut felt like something that was so visual and so bold for Elizabeth that it would be just something new for our viewers to get to see. Of course, Elizabeth and her loved ones are dealing with extreme uncertainty in the episode. Governor-elect Lucas Bouchard, who is also Elizabeth's ex-fiance, was shot at the beginning of his term as governor of Union City, and his shooter was identified within the hour. But on a show like The ZTH, which tells so many stories of strong young women in the early 1900s for a largely female audience in 2024, the moment Elizabeth Thornton sat in front of her friend Rosemary, getting ready to change her hairstyle for the first time was monumental. Elizabeth exuded confidence as she sat in the chair with a haircutting cape on before Rosemary began, and directly answered a question about whether she was happy with her decision to break up with Lucas and stay in Hope Valley. I am, and I know I made the right decision. I'm so grateful that everyone who matters to me is safe, Elizabeth said before her friend made the first snip. The gravity of the moment is palpable in the scene, which is reminiscent of the season two moment in Felicity when Felicity cut her hair after her breakup with Ben. Any comparison to Carrie Russell, Felicity vibes, that's great. I'm thrilled and honored, says Krakow, adding that she feels playful and fun with a short bob. As for Elizabeth, the end of her relationship with Lucas comes at the beginning of the 1920s And just before the town of Hope Valley experiences the change that will come when Governor Bouchard's resort is built, bringing a surge of tourism into town. The sweet, empowering moment is another example on WCTH of strong, independent, fearless women who are finding themselves in a world that is made for men, Krakow says. And I say fearless. But I should follow that up by saying part of what I love about the way we tell these stories of these women is that the writers allow us to see into their more quiet moments where they're exposing some of their fears and vulnerabilities, she says. Hope Valley enters the 1920s in the 11th season of the When Calls the Heart TV show on Hallmark Channel.